Hey guys, just wanted to bring you guys a quick video on, uh, well, my particular uh, system and its performance. Right now I've got it running uh, Real Bench's uh, stress test down there. <clears throat> and I wanted to show you guys uh, kind of what I'm dealing with. Uh, as you can see right now I'm running 4.3 gigahertz. I tried my damnedest to try to get it up to 4.5 gigahertz. Then when I actually stress tested it, it, it crashed. I tried 4.4, that crashed. I was running at 1.285 volts, which is a lot of voltage, and it still crashed, so probably safe to say it's it's not going to happen. But anyways, as you can see there, those are the temps. Uh, that noise you can hear outside is actually uh, somebody mowing their grass. But as you can see right now, I've got all my cores decked out, and it's doing some crazy shit over here but yeah let's just do one thing real quick anyways here's just kind of a quick overview through AI Suite's little software I'm not sure if you can see it that well but there it is 16% increase 100 times 43 which is 100 being my base clock uh, 43 being my multiplier and that's how I'm getting 4.3 gigahertz uh, right there, I've actually got all my uh, case fans plugged into my motherboard, so I can actually control them through this software. It's actually an awesome software. But yeah, <clears throat> as you can see right now, nothing's running. So, obviously we're not going to actually see the overclock unless it's running. But hey. Yeah, and this is kind of what Fan Expert 2 looks like for those of you who didn't know. But yeah, I've actually got load line calibration turned all the way up. So, yeah. This is so weird. It's not actually showing my uh, memory timings or anything like that. That's weird, but I may have one small thing that might be able to help. Let me open it up right now. Aha! There we are. Let me just click on memory here. As you can see. Whoa! Alright, DRAM frequency. 1200.1 megahertz. What the heck does that mean? Well, it's double density RAM, so 1200 times 2. And that's actually your speeds. See? Easy enough to figure out. Those are my memory timings. I'm, again, I'm using the Kingston HyperX Beast modules. Uh, they're pretty fast, and I'm actually quite surprised. <clears throat> but yeah, so there's that in a nutshell. As far as 2D benchmarks and stuff like that, I don't have any up yet, but I may um, throw some your way. Yeah. Also, if we can, let me just, aha, there's my GPU tweak. This is kind of what, uh, this is actually how I'm running my GPU right here. These are the stock frequencies of an R9-280X DCU2 top edition card. You'll have 1070 on the uh, core clock. You'll have 1200 on the middle on the uh, voltage, sorry, 6400 on the memory, and target power is obviously 100%. Now, when I overclocked it, the first time at least, I'm still not done, uh, mind you. This is actually what I got 1100, uh, and I didn't even change the voltage, I just bumped it up to 1100 and I passed. 6500 on the memory. I've actually gotten all the way up to 6600 on my memory so far. And it actually works pretty well. I mean, yeah, I love this freaking graphics card. Anyways, that's kind of what I'm running in this system. I really hope you guys liked the video. I just wanted to bring you guys kind of a, just, you know, a quick update video on my rig. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and definitely share this video. And stay tuned for more tech videos to be uploaded in the future. Thanks for watching.
Thank you.